We are here in the Care FC Fort Collins studios with Laurie Juzak, who is co-owner and one of the tour guides at Fort Collins Tours. Something very exciting happening, a new book release, Ghosts of Fort Collins, written by the Juzaks. So we're really pleased to have Laurie with us. Thanks for being here, Laurie. Thank you for inviting me to visit, Vincent. I really appreciate it. We're very excited to be here to talk to you about the book today. Now, you started out doing uh, this family business in Fort Collins recently, and we're finding that many of the the uh, shop owners, business owners, had tales to tell you, and that kind of led to a certain tour that you do and ultimately to the book. Yes, when we started, we thought we were going to be doing a historical walking tour. And we were really excited about that. And as I went into the businesses to do interviews and collect history, we'd have these conversations. And just near the end, I'd be about to walk out. And the business owners would say, and did you know this place is haunted? And we collected about 30 stories altogether just in Old Town. So we started the ghost tours. And we thought it was going to be just big entertainment and kind of a a fun thing to do. And then as we got started on about 30% of our tours, we'd actually have some paranormal things happen. And it got to be really exciting. In fact, about two months in, I said to my sons, I'm not sure I want to do this. I'm getting a little scared myself. But it was fun. And uh, we were contacted by History Press last year. They had been reading the blogs, which ironically were written by my sons, not by me. And they're very wonderful writers. And um, they said, would you like to write a book about the history and hauntings of Fort Collins? And we said, we'd love to, because there is a lot of history, I think, that is getting lost. There's a lot of verbal history that people share with us and isn't written in any of the history books. And we try to recapture some of that. So we started writing this book. And... um, I think that I was probably the primary writer because my sons and daughter-in-law all have their day jobs, and it it was a little bit hard to work that in. But my oldest son did all of the photography in it, and I think he did a wonderful job. There are just some beautiful shots of Old Town in there, and uh, we're just looking forward to sharing all this with the community of Fort Collins. Where is the book available? Right now, the book just came out. It's available on our website. If you go to fortcollins.com, there's a button you can push and order the book, and we'll ship it to you. It's available on amazon.com. It will be available this coming week, uh, starting the 17th of July, at Firehouse Bookstore and the local bookstores around town. And it will be in Barnes & Noble probably within the next two weeks. Lori, you have some exciting book signings coming up as well. Yes, we do. We have a book signing at Firehouse Books on August 4th in the afternoon. And then right before Halloween on August 27th, I'll be doing a book signing at Barnes & Noble here on College Avenue. Also a lot of fun tours coming up we can talk about through you and the rest of the family. Yes, we have our signature Haunted Fort Collins tour where we go into and underneath the city of Fort Collins and Old Town. It's lots of fun. And then we also have gourmet tours. We have ghosts and goodies tours coming up starting in August through September and October, which are a combination dessert and ghost tour. So it's like trick-or-treat for grown-ups. Lori, thanks very much for coming by again. Ghosts of Fort Collins, very recent release by the Juzak family. And, uh, Once again, the website, fortcollinstours.com. Thank you very much, Lori. Thank you, Vincent. We appreciate it.